blocking. I'm sure you've heard people talk about blocking and your knitting journey. And in case you don't know exactly what that means, this is usually something we do at the end of knitting our project to kind of even things out and make it really uniform. And so there's a few ways you can do this. And um, some people like to do this before they weave in any ends. I already weaved these in, so we're just gonna go with this. But you can submerge your own entire garment in like a tub or a large bowl or even in your sink. And with wool, you never wanna use hot water. You wanna use cool or lukewarm water for this. You can completely submerge it, let it sit for 10 minutes. And then I really like to use a wool wash like Eucalon. I think that's how you say it. You just use a couple drops of this and it just really helps the fibers kind of even out and it gives it a nice smell. And it's kind of like a no rinse wool wash or soak that you can use that I really like. It also kind of protects the fibers, I think. So you can soak that in a bowl. I'm not gonna show you this right now because, you know. So you let it sit for like 10 minutes, 15 minutes, even longer. Then you're gonna wring it out and I'll show you how the best way to do this. So let's say I just soaked this in my sink. I'm gonna get a bath towel, a big one if you can. And then you lay your wet sweater in the bath towel. Then you roll the bath towel with the sweater in it like this, just like a burrito. Roll it all up. It's gonna be very wet. I go across with my hands or even I'll put it on the floor and I'll do my knees across or I'll even use my feet and step across and that really gets the excess water out. And then I'll unroll it and I'll probably do it again on the other side of the towel, the kind of drier side of the towel. Roll it up again and this really helps get out the moisture without stretching out your sweater. You're just laying it flat in there, rolling it up, squeezing it all out that way. Then you're gonna find a table or an ironing board, or if you have mats at home, you can like rubber mat, like what are those called? The kids play on those foam mats. If you have those, those work really well too. Sometimes I just use a table or an ironing board. I would get another clean dry towel, lay this on top, and then you smooth it all out. You make everything straight with your hands. You shape the collar. You make the sleeves really nice and straight and flat. And then you let that air dry um, like overnight or for a couple of days. And you can also, if you don't want to submerge it, if that's too scary, you can just use a spray bottle of water and you can even put a couple drops of this in the spray bottle, spray everywhere, and then let that air dry. You can still do the smoothing thing. And with this, that's kind of what I do with this yarn and that works really well too. So that's just a quick overview of blocking.